All right, so this is obviously a topic of heated discussion, but in today's video, I want to give you some examples because I have uncovered that a lot of you guys are unsure of how to escalate things with women. You are afraid to scare them away. You're afraid to say the wrong thing. But the one difference between kind of the nice guy and or the bad boy is that the bad boy assumes that a woman is just as much of a sexual being as he is. And that is the difference. That is the attitude that you need to go into when you are having these types of conversations. Because I will tell you from a woman's perspective, he is right. You think that we are just these non-sexual creatures and these tiny little princesses that don't enjoy it. I'm going to tell you, friends, you have been lied to. So that is is what I'm here for. I'm here to help you understand how to most effectively win over any woman so that you can escalate these conversations effortlessly and potentially save yourself from embarrassment or save yourself from getting a slap in the face because there are right ways to escalate a conversation and there are wrong ways. So first, let me cover a little bit of the wrong ways and some of the mistakes that I see men make when it comes to escalating properly with a woman. So I think that the biggest thing, the biggest obstacle that gets in the way of having these conversations go smoothly is that men don't necessarily know how to ask the right questions or they go from zero to 100 very fast or there's no buffer in between. It's kind of like we are kissing and then your hand is being placed in a different area. You know, the thing with women in communication is that the biggest thing that women love is communication. And it doesn't mean that you, know, you have to talk it to death. Obviously, there is a balance between over communicating and under communicating. And that is going to take a little bit of art. But there is an escalation process just like in any conversation and in any friendship. When you are getting to know somebody, you know, you're not going to dive into your childhood traumas and start talking about all of the things that you went through as a child. You're going to start with small talk first. You're going to start with things that are going to gradually open a person up. And the same is for a woman. The same goes for a woman when it comes to revealing herself sexually. So first you want to start off by asking questions that reveal to you a little bit about her past. When it comes to you know, talking about personal details, right, about these things that have happened, you don't just want to go in and ask her what is it that she likes the most, right? Or what is it that she's into? Or is she into voyeurism or uh, PDA outside or all these things, right? You, you have to understand that there is a natural progression to having this conversation. And the main thing I will say is that if you are uncomfortable and if you make it a big deal, then it's going to feel like a big deal to her. The more that you can control your facial expressions, the more that you can act calm and collected and confident when talking about this, the more safe that she is going to feel with you. Now, I would say the right time versus the wrong time to approach these type of topics, right, is make sure you're in a darker setting right? Make sure you're going to dinner, potentially you've had a glass of wine, you're on date three or four, and you want to start talking about experiences that she's had in the past. Like now, when did you experience your first kiss? You could ask what her love language is, right? Because some people will say touch and that is a great segue. So, right, you want to start off with like these PG or even G rated questions that will lead you and that will start to give Give you clues as to, okay, so if she says that touch is one of her love language, then you can ask her, you know, do you like a little bit more PDA? Would you like it if I held your hand as we were walking down the street? Remember, this is all about pacing the conversation. You don't want to go super intimate, super 
quick, right? The first question, maybe not even the second question or the third question, because it's, it can come across as that you are only wanting to sleep with her or that, you know, women can really pick up on when a man is only going after that one thing. So start with lighter questions that will really lead to more intimate ones. So these G rated questions are, what are some things in the, in your past that you really liked in a guy? You know, what are some of the things that, that he did for you? you or as far as, you know, PDA and public displays of affection, what are some ways that you like to be touched? You can even talk about flirting. What are some things that guys have done that you've liked that have flirted with you? And how do you like to receive affection? Some of these questions aren't necessarily sexual in nature. A lot of the questions that you want to ask before you even get to the sexual part of a conversation is really a lot of relationship based questions. A lot of relationship based questions start with, what is it that you're looking for in a relationship? You know, what are some things that haven't worked out for you in the past in your relationships? You know, what are some things that you find really attractive in, in a man that you're seeing? And, and how does a man show you that he is very attracted to you? What does that make you feel like? And what is it that you, what, what is it that you're looking for? Even asking questions like, what's one thing that really frustrates you about men? What is one thing that you've had in your past that's been really frustrating for you? And how would you change it? And what do I need to know in order to not make those same mistakes again? You guys should be having these intimate conversations. You know, you should be having these, these more intense and meaningful conversations over a glass of wine, or if you're not of age yet, over some mini golf. But, you know, make sure that the setting is right. Having coffee and sexual conversation at nine o'clock in the morning doesn't necessarily do it for most women. It's not very romantic. Definitely try and ask some intentional questions questions about her and about what she is looking for and about some of her past so that she starts to feel comfortable opening up to you. Asking her what type of relationship does she want? How many times does does she want to see you in a new relationship? How many times does she want to hear from you as far as text messaging, as far as phone calls? And the the ultimate question, which I absolutely love, if a woman is super into you, a question that you could ask if you stay in your masculine frame is how does a man make you feel safe? Not necessarily sexually charged, but a very intimate question. So let's move a little bit more to the PG-13. That's when we start to get a little bit more heated, when a woman is feeling a little bit more comfortable with you, sharing with you some of these deeper conversations that is the time when you start to escalate the conversation. So questions that are a little bit more PG-13 is what do you think makes constitutes a good relationship? How many times a week would be your ideal to potentially have intercourse? Did you ever struggle with this in your past relationships? Are you a sexual person? What are some things that you haven't tried that you potentially want to try in the bedroom that you haven't done yet? Other questions could be what are some places that are erogenous for you? Do you like your ears being kissed? Do you like your neck being kissed? Where are some places that that really do it for you? You could also ask when you were growing up, how comfortable was it for you in, in your household talking about these things? I can say from personal experience, I grew up with a very European mother. She was very open. I saw my first nude beach when I was 13 years old in uh, Mallorca, Spain. So I have a little bit of a different view than your typical kind of uh, uh, you know, American, because Americans can be a little bit more prude when it comes to these conversations. Uh, for all my European watchers, they know exactly what I'm talking about. And then you want to start getting pretty into it because the biggest thing as well that I talk to with men is that guys, if you beat around the bush and you don't have these important conversations in the very early stages of dating, I really hate to say this, but I don't care if you scare a woman away by having these types of conversations because what you need to differentiate and what you need to know is one, if you are being used, if you are taking her out to fancy dinners, if you are doing things and not getting anything in return, that's a woman who's probably never going to want to sleep with you. So 
you have to differentiate whether or not a woman is going to have your same type of value system when it comes to the bedroom. Having these open and upfront, honest conversations and asking her if, hey, are you a sexual person or are you not? How long do you think you could go without potentially pleasing yourself? Those types of questions are going to give you a lot of information and information that you need to know because you're not looking to get into a relationship where it's dry. I know you men, and I understand that you want to also have an amazing, amazing sex life. So asking about, you know, the craziest place that she has ever done it, or potentially what type of videos that she likes to watch. What is it that, that really gets her going? What's the hottest thing that a guy can do during the act? Now you don't have to use them all at one time. You know, you can spread these out within a couple of weeks. If you're having conversations, and there is something that leads you down this road, you want to be natural about it. You know, you don't want to hammer her with all 15 questions all at one time, but you want to start to trigger something in her because when a woman feels safe with a man, you're going to feel a very little pushback. And if she challenges you and asks you why you're asking these the sensitive subjects, look, all you can say is you can be honest. You want to own your sexuality and don't apologize. If you consider your yourself a sexual person and if she responds with why are you asking me this or I don't feel comfortable that's great that's good information for you to have but again play it off have a playful smirk on your face and you know be respectful of the conversation but also understand that you want to be able to talk about these things and if a woman is not talking to you about these things and is not being honest with you then most likely she's not on the same page with you and don't forget when you are talking about these things kiss her on the cheek or kiss her on the ear or whisper some you know words of encouragement in her ear, touch her on the leg and just tell her how hot she is, how hot she is for opening up to you and really encourage her and say, maybe you're turned on a little bit by the conversation because, and you touch her leg, that's only going to help you in your pursuits of the conversation. Tell her how beautiful she is. Tell her how much you're enjoying to getting to know her. Tell her that you really appreciate her vulnerability and the fact that she is opening up to you and then continue on with the conversation. A couple more questions that are a little bit more charged is that asking her, you know, has she ever had an O if someone's gone down on her or has that been harder for her? Does she like having that type of stimulation in that area? I'm trying to be careful so that YouTube doesn't demonetize the video. And if you haven't been able to have these conversations yet because you're, it's awkward in public, you want to progress from coffee shop to dinner to getting to someone one's house. You, you want to be able to escalate a conversation where it's natural and you get her back to a place of privacy so that she doesn't feel awkward that, you know, the waiter's coming up and talking to you while you're talking about these types of things. That would obviously put a dent in the situation. So make sure that you go from, you know, having these conversations and starting out a little bit more fresh, starting a little bit more, you know, G or PG rated at the restaurant or wherever establishment that you're at, but then invite her over to your place. Invite her over. Let's have dinner. I'd love to have you over and then get her to a place where she feels safe. And then you can ask her about all sorts of things. Remember, go from G to R rated to potentially X rated and ask her if she, does she like toys? What kind of toys does she like? Is she into lingerie? Has she ever, is there something that, you know, she likes that you could potentially get for her that she would feel comfortable wearing? Does she sleep naked? Does she not sleep naked? Do you see what I'm saying? There are a wide variety of questions that you can ask a woman that will absolutely start to turn the conversation. So I hope some of these questions were helpful. I hope that it gives you a little bit of a glimpse into what a woman wants and what a woman thinks about. And just remember, women are sexual beings. And if you think that women do not enjoy it as much as you, or if you think that we are not as sexual as you, you, you are wrong, my friend. Own it, be the leader, be comfortable in the conversation, be comfortable leading the conversation and she will follow. So thank you so much. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have multiple courses down in the description links. If you would like more information such as this, I am happy to help and I appreciate your support. I'll see you on the next one.